Hey guys, it's Adam here and welcome to Tuesday afternoon. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I've been up since 11. Trying to figure out what we're going to do for today's vlog. No, one thing we're going to do is we're going to get that camera set up. I took the thingamajig out and do you think I remember where the fuck I put it? Oh, well, this isn't good. By thingamajig, I mean that thing you screw into the light so you got two outlets and a light bulb fixture. And I already lost it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Unless it's behind me. No. Well, first thing we gotta do is find that thing. It's probably downstairs on top of the fridge. But, um, yeah. And another thing I want to talk about is Sony PlayStation 4 is getting an update in the very near future, which is gonna freaking rock. So they're basically releasing 3.50 update as a uh, beta. So that's being released uh, the next couple days or soon. And what it's going to feature is down here. Friend online notification. Want to know the moment your friend comes online? With this update you can add, you know, that's pretty awesome. Appear offline for people who want to single play and not be bothered. Now you can appear offline. So that's pretty cool. User scheduled event. Time to play date. That's what that'd be great for us when we play our Grand Theft Auto. We can set up a scheduled event, get everybody on board, everybody gets notified, PlayStations all turn on a half an hour earlier or something. Who knows? That's pretty awesome. And play together. This feature also allows all members of the party to see what each person is playing so they can easily join a friend's game. That is pretty cool too. That means like if Chuch is in GTA online, I should be able to click on it. And jump into his game, which is pretty friggin' awesome. And then down here, this is what got me going. Remote play, PC, Mac. We're bringing PS4 remote play to Windows, PC, and Mac. This feature won't be available to test in the beta, but you can look forward to it soon. That is going to be awesome. And Daily Motion, well, I could care less about Daily Motion, but you'll be able to live stream directly to Daily Motion. We'll also be supporting. Archiving live broadcasts like we do for other streaming services. I don't really care for Daily Motion. I'm a big, big fan of YouTube streaming and sometimes Twitch. And but the remote play is what I'm really, really, really excited for because that means I can use keyboard and mouse while playing Battlefield 4. Then I might accidentally start playing more Battlefield 4. Just saying. Also, people, I found the doohickey. Yup. So today we're gonna try and get that third camera up and running. In the uh, landing area, we got enough daylight out right now. Look, you can tell, and we shouldn't need the light on in the hallway to get you know visibility to hook everything up and drill the holes and rip the camera in there. So that should be awesome. But first, I want to finish my coffee before I consider doing anything else. Also, today is a sweatpants day. Why? Because I felt like it. I'm gonna make another coffee because I want one. Today is gonna be a lazy day, like every other day. It's also a Get my resume ready day and send that out the door day. I'm applying for some jobs I found online that have easy apply. You don't even need to print the fucking things, you just send them in. God, I love modern technology. Because, uh, kind of don't have a printer yet, eh? Haven't bought one. I was chatting with uh, Iron Man and he says he has one for me, a wireless printer. Uh, only problem is, is he lives way down south and I live way up north. So I'd have to drive way down south to pick it up. And it'd probably be cheaper for me to say, screw it, and just go buy a printer. <laughs> because, honestly, the drive down south in that car, uh, probably looking at about 100 bucks in gas there and back. Because it just loves the gurgle. And that's why I say in the long run, it'd be cheaper for me to say frigate and just go to like feature shop buy the, the uh, $80 laser printer, black and white laser printer, call it a day. But came down here for two reasons. I wanted to grab this camera and I wanted to uh, get a coffee because I want another coffee. But uh, yeah, like if Iron Man ever comes up this way and he brings it, that'd be awesome. But uh, if I really need a printer, I might have to go to Best Buy. And get that Samsung laser printer, like the same one that we used to have, except for the new model is wireless, which is nice. Because then I can just hook it up to all my computers. And have access to a printer. Which would be glorious. So I went ahead and unboxed the camera here. Just uh, took the power adapter out. There's your screws and stuff. Camera, there's a Ethernet cable underneath. 
There's the adapter. Here's the plug. See what I mean? It's just a two prong plug, no grounding, and it's not even polarized. So, lovely. So that goes in there, no problem. And then we'll hook this camera up and we'll be able to get a shot of the landing. So that'd be kind of cool. And then I'll have all three cameras hooked up. It'll be glorious. Alrighty, we're about to get started on some camera installs here, but I just came across a problem. Uh, on this here tank, yeah, vape talk. Go ahead and mark it down there, fucking guys. But this is the Cubis. I think it's the Cubis or the Cub Cubis, right? Sure, we'll call it the Cubis by Joytech. It's a sub ohm tank. Produces a pretty good chooch. I had a 1.5 ohm coil in here, garbage. Had a 1 ohm coil in here, garbage. The reason why I don't like them is the draw is too tight. So I went to go put a 0.5 ohm in, which I have a box of them right here, right? They're authentic Joytech. They have the friggin' Q code to test for authenticity. Says right on here, they're stainless steel 0.5 ohm coils. Check this shit out. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. You're gonna notice there's a free coil that comes out because that's one that was attached to the, uh, the package. It was literally like this. So I grabbed this coil first, I took it out, and then I realized something was wrong. If you notice, the head's got a cap on it. Why? Because it's not actually a 0.5 ohm coil. It's a 1 ohm coil. Then the 25 watts. The fuck? So then I got inspecting the rest. Well, this one here has the mesh on it, so it's a 0.5. This one here has the mesh on it, so it's a 0.5. This one here has the cap on it. You inspect them. Oh. Well, that's a 1 ohm coil. That's a 0.5. That's a point. So I bought a pack of 5.5s, I only got 3.5s, and two 1 ohms. What the hell? This is a box of 1 ohm coils. Let's see what it's got. This one's packed completely different. Oh, huh. would you look at that? They all look like 1 ohm coils. Great, so I got 8 1 ohm coils, 3.5s. <sighs> Get your shit together, Joytech, for fuck's sakes. Alrighty guys, I got you on a tripod right now. Look, you can see me. I'm gonna turn off the light. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, whoa shit. Take this glass thing off. Go downstairs or you'll freak sakes, you're always in the way. <laughs> gonna take this thing off. It's rusted on there. So I'm gonna need a pair of needle nose appliers. That's all I have in the house. <clears throat> Trying to get around this tripod here is kind of a, kind of a challenge. There we go. Alright, let's see if we find the new those pliers. Yay, found them! And like every pair I own, these ones spring back. Just needed a little bit of influencing. Holy shit, okay, there we go. Probably won't be using this thing ever again. So now that this light fixture is disabled, I'll go ahead and unscrew the bulb. You know what's funny? This is one of the bulbs that I got uh, from that package. It doesn't get half as warm as the ones that I bought from my friend. And then we screw this thing in. Okay. Then we screw the bulb back in. I don't want the bulbs in. Let's test it out make sure it actually works. Nice. Next step is to figure out where we're going to put the camera. So here be the camera. These are actually pretty easy to work with. You can just unscrew the base here, right there. Unscrew the base. Take the camera clean off the base, which is nice. And then for mounting it, you got this plate on the bottom. It's just got a couple pinch tabs that you just push in and the actual screw on part is supposed to come right up. Oh no, okay, I see now. You take this ring off the bottom and then you just run your screws through there. So then you find out where you want to put it. Like if we want to mount it, say, right here, or we could mount it up here. I'm wondering if I should sink the camera first and see what would be the best shot. You know what? Let's do that. So we're going to grab our power adapter. Yeah. Is this going to look like an astronomical eyesore? I fucking bet your sweet tits it will. But, that's not my problem, or my concern, because I live in an astronomical eyesore. It's called my house. Alright, so we'll go ahead and, what I'm doing here is feels very dangerous. Oh shit. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's just disconnect this real quick. <coughs> Plug it in on that side. Way right there, we can route the wire wherever we want. Plug this into here. We'll flick on the light switch and see if we have power. And we have power to the camera. Yay! All right, we'll just let that hang for a second. Probably one, there's also a power adapter down there, but it doesn't work. My phone is not in here. My phone is actually in here. 
Alright, let's log into the router. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this to sync up to the router. If this phone would ever connect to the router. There we go. Go over to wireless. Go over to WPS. Set it for push button. Get this one here flashing by pressing and holding the power button and the, or the WPS button in the back. Press start on the router. I don't know if you can see that but the blue light is flashing. And it's solid green. So oh, it's rebooting. It's solid green again. Life is good. It's on the router. Now let's go to the D-Link software and see if it comes up. When the software crashes that's always a good time too. Eh? Every time I go to look at local cameras the software crashes. Come on software! Do the job! I know you're a D-Link but you can do better. Yeah, it will not connect to this camera. Alright, let's go back into the router settings. Find out what IP address I gave this here friggin thing. Apparently I got a new firmware update for my router so that's kind of cool. So I gave it the IP address of 166. Okay, I'm going to quickly uh, change some settings on this. I'm going to do it from a computer and go from there. Alrighty, we got all three cameras set up but I have no idea how the hell I'm going to friggin monitor the cameras. Uh, I wish I could get that fucking camera to connect to my router or to my uh, phone. I might have to reboot my phone. Alrighty, just trying to add it to my phone. This will make things a lot easier if this works. Um, mainly because then I can actually look at it while I'm aiming it and deciding where it's going to go. So that's a bonus. Just waiting on this thing to add. This software from D-Link is pretty shitty. I'm going to admit it. It's not exactly the greatest software. But it's not my main software. I use iSpy, which is great. Failed to connect to the camera. Lovely jubbly. What a pile of piss. Join. Yes. Connect, you fucking Muppet. Alrighty, we got the live feed of it. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but, uh, you know, I need two hands. One to operate the camera, one to hold the phone. And I need a third one to guide the, uh, the camera down there dangling by his tits. So I'm going to go ahead and aim this, and I'll show you as I go. Alrighty, people. Well, we got the camera here. We got the phone here. So you can see what's happening. So if I were to put it up here and aim it down, that would get me down the stairs. Over here would get me over here. If I aim it, you know what? Right there is not too bad. If I get the fuck out of the way. It's hard to do this, people. It's hard to do this. If I put it up like that, if my head wasn't in the way. You know what? That would work right there. Right? I don't even know if you guys can see that. I might have to zoom in and post, but right there. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it up around there. Or if I go a little higher and put it like yaw, that might work out too. Okay, so we're going to put it there. Perfect. Sorry for the shitty uh, demonstration of what's happening here, but uh, when you're a lone soldier doing this, it's... And when we get the wide angle lenses for them, that's what's going to make, that's going to be the deal breaker. I know one guy, Daddy Tech, said that uh, the lens didn't make a difference, but obviously he didn't watch the before and after because it gave you a definite wider angle of view, that's for sure. So, what we're going to do now, this is a Phillips head, right? Yes. We're going to figure out, I guess we're going to stick it right here. So let's get a little bit of a better shot here. I'm going to put it right here, right here. And then I should be able to get down the stairs and that area right there, no problem. I know I should pre-drill, but what I should do is get a Sharpie or a pencil or something. If I can mark it, and then I can just stab out holes and pound them in. What am I talking about? Who needs a Sharpie when you have a fucking screwdriver? Just rip some holes into it. When you don't have the right tools to do a job, Makes that job a lot fucking harder. Got it, coach. Just make sure that'll hang. Oh yeah, she's in there. Okay. And we'll get the other screw in. Fuck it, we'll pre-drill it with a bit. <laughs> See what I'm doing here? Don't do that. But I just lost the other screw. That'll make matters fun. All 
All right, both screws are in. And then we take the old plastic ring, slippity slap that over top of the, clip that on like the. Then we take Captain camera pants. Now on this thing here, you'll see like there's like a slit here. This is so the camera can rotate. If you have it over here, it can't rotate. So you want this to be on the bottom so you can aim it down more. And then you just screw that on to, you guys probably can't see shape, probably just looking at my sweaty armpits. Screw that on there and Viola, fucking mounted. A little crooked, not a big deal. Grab the old phone, go back to the D-Link software, which crashed. Fucking shitty software. Go to stairway, go to stairway. Oh, this software is fucking junk. Okay, we're going to go back to the computer because that always works. And we'll take a look. Now, like I said, we're not going to be able to use this because there's no way that's going to fit over top of there and capture everything. So, I'm just going to leave the bulb and the wires exposed. I'm going to clean up the wire somehow, probably with my staple gun. I'm just going to get this wire to probably come up and over like so. And we'll just fucking tack it to the ceiling or some shit figure that out and go from there we got the camera set up but it's not quite aimed the way I want it to so I'm gonna go ahead and move it get this out of her way before she decides to eat it grab my drill one of these days I got to go over to dad's house to give him the friggin present from Tommy but what we're gonna do with this is I want to aim it more like that I think let's see what we got for a video um, more over my way Hmm, more down. That's actually pretty decent. Shows down the stairs and the landing outside the door. And there we go. The fucking snowing out? No, okay, good. So there we go. That camera is up. There, that's good. I like that. So we leave that like that, and now we can see everything so far. Still like to get more cameras, but it is what it is. So now we can see Oreo and Scampers if you're outside the door banging on it, or if it's something else. And already the camera's coming into use. Look at Scampers up on the cabinet there. Oh my god, what a cat. She knows she's not supposed to be up there. If I were to go out of the room right now, she'd freak out, jump down, and run away. She knows better. Like, <laughs> freaking cats, eh? They just do whatever the frig they want all the time, every time. Zero fucks given. Yeah, just tightrope walking across the cabinet. Probably taking a shit up there. Freaking cat. Look at Scampers. Oh, there's Arios. They're both outside the door. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make some dinner. And there's Oreos. Yeah. Now you're going to be there. I just want to aim this a little bit more that way. Yeah, that should be good. i got to get her a better bed for there. But I'm going to let Oreo out. And judging by the fact that Scampers was drinking out of the sink, I'm assuming their water dish is still full. What the fuck? Why was she in the sink then? Must have been drinking out of the pot. But, uh, I'm gonna let the dog out. We're gonna make something to eat. I'm thinking, uh, we're gonna have some salmon tonight. It's been a while since I've had some salmon, so, figure frigate. We got these salmon steaks here. So I'll grab two of these, we'll defrost them, then we'll cook these up. And we're also gonna have some rice. I'm um, probably gonna go with a few. That looks better for salmon, not cheddar and broccoli. That'd be pretty gross. Just gonna wait for him to come back inside and then we'll get the prep going. Fucking door is still open on the garage. Tomorrow I'm going to put the new doorknob on. I'm not going to do it today. Oreo, come on, bud. Don't sniff your fucking piles of shit. Let's go for a dump. Go for a poop or come in the house. Friggin' dog. There he goes. Oh, yeah, just dropping a filthy grumpy. Look at him, eh? Just sets it up for the fall. What a dog. Hopefully nobody was eating while I was filming that. Kind of looks like a stegosaurus in that position. So according to the weather network, it's going to be nice on Friday. So I figure on Friday what we'll do is we'll, uh, well, me actually tomorrow I was thinking about doing the doorknob on the garage. 
and doing some cleanup and some moving shit around to try and get some more space out of the environment so that we can uh, get that snowblower face down ass up take apart the guts and see if we can unseize that, uh, that, that problem area so that'll be tomorrow well I don't know if we're going to work on the snowblower tomorrow but Definitely going to work in the garage and we're definitely going to get that new doorknob on, so that'd be good. Alrighty, just use the hot water technique to power thaw these uh, fillets of salmon. Going to go ahead and air fry them. Cover them in garlic and some soy sauce. Always comes out good like this. You can add other spices too if you like. But I like the way this tastes, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, toss it in the air fryer. Going to add some water to the rice, which yeah, and then we'll be alright. Alright, rice cooker's on. As you can tell, my kitchen's getting a little disarray, so I'm going to do some dishes while this cooks. Gonna give her the old 15 minute run on the uh, timer at 200. And I'm gonna get some dishes done and get this cupboard all cleaned up. I just gave Scampers her taste of wet food for the first time. Can you tell that she's really enjoying it? She's won with that bowl. Nice, I just got done doing dishes. Cleaning up the countertops, cleaning out the sinks, and cleaning off the stove top with that fucking piss up there. And then the rice cooker went off. Dinner's ready. Let's serve it up. You can only smell the awesomeness coming out of this tinfoil right now. And just like that, dinner is served. But guys, even though it's only 6 o'clock, I'm going to shut the vlog down here. Because I want to get this edited and uploaded and ready for tomorrow. Because tonight I think we're going to play some video games. And I don't want to have to worry about editing and uploading after video game time. Usually by then I'm pretty tired and I want to go straight to bed. So I'm going to shut her down here tomorrow. We're going to put that doorknob on the garage and do some cleanup out there and other things. But as for today, we are done. So thanks for coming out. Like, favorite, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.